Hey guys, I'm so glad to be back today because today is the day. I am doing a reaction video on Miley Cyrus' new album, Plastic Heart. I've been waiting for this moment for such a long time. I think it's been like two years since her last album and I can't wait to hear it. I'm so excited. I don't know what to expect except one thing that is going to be a rock and pop album because that like she has been talking about this for some time now. So I cannot wait. If you want to see my reaction then please keep on watching. The first song from the album is called What the Fuck Do I Know? And I have no idea what to expect and I'm so excited. So let's hear it. The conversation Am I wrong that I moved on And I And I don't even miss you Thought that it'd be you Until I die But I let go What the fuck do I know? I'm alone so much let me check thing that i'm the problem honey i'm the solution that's so cool i love that so much okay let's keep going loved it then i hate it and let you go what the fuck do i know amazing let me check the lyrics so what the fuck do i know i'm alone because i couldn't be somebody's hero you want an apology not from me i had to leave you in your own misery so tell me baby am i wrong that i moved on and i and i don't even miss you but that i will be you until i die but i let it go what the fuck do i know oh my god great start I'm so excited and it just, you know, get my blood pumping up straight away from the first song. This is so cool. I'm obsessed. Oh, so the second song is called Plastic Hearts and it's the actual album uh, title. So it's the actual title of the album. So let's hear it. <laughs> Hello, the sun and place for shady people. Love you now. It was quite sad, to be honest. Let me check the lyrics. I love this one so much. Um, the structure of the song and the instrumental parts, they were so different. Like in the beginning, I feel like I'm in the jungle. Do, do, do. Frightened by my own reflection despite for a new connection. Pull you in, but don't you get too close. Love you now, but not tomorrow. Wrong to steal, but not to borrow. Pull you in, but don't you get too close. I love how honest she is being in this album. You know, like the melody sounds like so energetic and she feels like she's smiling when she's singing this. But then you check the lyrics and they're so deep. Okay, moving on. The next song is called Angels Like You. And I feel like it's going to be a slow one. Can I wait? Fly 
flowers in hand waiting for me Every word in poetry More that you give, the less that I need Everyone says I look happy When it feels right I know that you're wrong for me Gonna wish we never I think this is my favorite song yet. Once again, she's so honest and you know when the song comes from the heart, I just connect with it so much more. Like the, okay, Blah, throw that out of the window, I just said it. I mean like, all the lyrics are very, very honest. But for this specific song, because the melody I think is like slow and gentle, you hear lyrics even more and it just makes you connect even more to the song but the melody is amazing, her voice sounds crazy this is going to be a very hard album to sing like live, it's crazy I will read the lyrics a bit so the more that you give the less that I need everyone says I look happy when it feels right I know that you're wrong for me gonna wish we never met on the day I leave I brought you down to the knees because they say that misery loves company. It's not your fault, I ruined everything. And it's not your fault, I can't be what you need. Baby, angels like you can't fly down here with me. I'm everything they said I would be. This is so sad, guys. Honest, but sad. I want to continue. This is crazy man, three songs and I love them all. Fourth song of the album is called Prisoner, featuring Dua Lipa. And I love the song, and I know the song, and it's so cool. Okay, moving on to the next one, it's called Give Me What I Want. Let's hear it. ending <laughs> I love this one so much it was so different like I don't even know how to explain it. it was so cool I love it so much okay let me check the words a bit the one line is like crazy to me pleasure leads to pain to me they're both the same I love the line honest again honesty I don't need a future I don't need a, your past I just need a lover so give me what I want or I will give it to my Self-injected torture, you don't need to ask, I just need a lover, so give me what I want, or I give it to myself. 
So it's a night about the pleasure, okay? But I love this one, it was so different. It's so cool, every song is so different. It's just, I'm excited to listen to all the other songs that she has on this album because it's so interesting. You never know what you're going to get. So the next one is Night Crawling featuring Billy Idol. I'm so excited of this song. I cannot wait, so let's hear it. absolutely amazing and you know what I noticed that this song is actually a very typical Billy Idol song guys it's amazing I love the song so much it just I just, I just want to oh so cool so I think this is my second favorite for now I love all of them guys but this one brought something into me that I didn't even know that it's inside of me so I love this song so much Ah, the next one, Midnight Sky. We all know this song. It was the first song of the album that she showed us. I love the song. Love. I don't know how many times I have sing the song, how many times I have heard the song. If you would ask my friends, they would answer you too many times. But I love it. What can I do? So I won't listen to it because I know how it sounds and it's amazing. I love this song so much. So let's move on to the next one. So the next one is called Hi. Let's hear it. Sometimes I get a little too hurt. Got my mind going places it ain't wanna go. And you like a need Get a little too hurt Got my mind going places anyone wanna go this song so much as all the others I don't know maybe I need to listen to it more this one just didn't give me that effect that others did I don't know I I need to listen to it more maybe it's going to change you know some songs are for you know they're different and that's the, the whole point I like it very much it's a good song it's um, there's a very good lyrics it's just this one it's not my favorite one I guess for now maybe it will change after next one is called hate me let's hear it go ahead you can say it's my
it's going to go one more time. Yeah, this song is, it's a very good song, but it's very, very sad, man. So I wonder what would happen if I die. I hope all of my friend, friends get drunk and high. Would it be too hard to say goodbye? I hope that it's enough to make you cry. Maybe that day you won't hate me. You know, sometimes your mind tends to go to places where it shouldn't. And, but you know, like she's only human and it's normal to sometimes think about things like this. That so many people, I guess, hate her about who she is and judge her all the time on everything, you know, that she's doing. And then at some point, I guess her mind went, you know, what would happen if I die? Would somebody, you know, would, would everybody stop, hate her? Would it be enough to make, you know, the, them cry? Would it be hard to say goodbye? This is like, and she hopes that her friends would get just drunk and high. This is very deep. And I love this song so much especially even after like the melody is so cool like it just drives you crazy but then again you read the lyrics and it's like boom like it's it's a lot i love this song very much the next one is called bad karma featuring joan jett i'm very excited to hear this let's hear it this at all is it weird that i love this so much uh, 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 uh. it's so cool john jett sounded amazing on this and 100 percent like john jett has been miley's inspiration for many years i think also billy idol i think that's why this record is so legendary because she got her songs with her idols which is so cool they say it's about karma being such a heartbreaker i always picked and give her because i'm always gonna take her i'd rather just do it than i think about it later kiss me bad karma this is very interesting i think it was one of my biggest surprises hearing this it's so unique you know you hear this and you're like oh yeah oh yeah it's them Okay, so the next one is Never Be Me. It sounds sad again, guys. Okay, Never Be Me. Let's hear it. I know I do this every time I walk the line I play with fire I don't want to push you away too much I don't want to lean that way too far I don't want to ever learn the hard way But if you're looking
that's crazy once again amazing melody amazing instrumentation amazing her voice is crazy in this album and again so honest if you're looking for stable that will never be me if you're looking for faithful that will never be me if you're looking for someone to be all that you need that will never be me hard as i try but she is there she's amazing to be with she's an amazing friend but if it goes like much deeper than that she's warning you it's not going to be her and it's very sad to think about this but it's her truth and she's letting her in what's happening inside of her which is it's amazing, it's a true artist thing. This left me speechless. I don't even know what to say. This is so sad. <laughs> I love this song. I do love it very much. Okay, so the next one is Golden G String. Let's hear it. I woke up in Montecito. I was thinking about my life. And the questions made more questions Staring out into the night I'll stay So the madman's in the big chair And his heart's in iron vault He says if you can't make ends meet Honey, it must be your fault We all focus on the winners And get blinded by their shine Maybe caring for each other's Just to 1969 and you dare to call me crazy Have you looked around this place? I should walk away Oh, I should walk away But I think I'll stay song to end the album on it's the perfect song so she got the first song what the fuck do i know as the best first song in the album for sure to start the album with and this is the perfect song to finish with again sad but honest and it's very true like it's about show business you dare to call me crazy how you look around this place once again she was sitting there going through her issues about the business and i think you know i should walk away but I think I'll stay. Pretty much the song is about how messed up the show business, the entertainment world, like how messed up it is. And she should walk away, but no, she will just do an album and she will stay with us guys. I love this, I love this song so much. I think it's one of my favorites as well. I have lots of favorites. I cannot name, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. It's not possible in this album. I think it's going to be the best al album of the year. It's ridiculous. And guys, it's a very hard album to sing, but she will nail it. I know, we all know that she's the, the one of the best singers at all time. She's amazing. This new style fits her so well. <gasps> and it's a very strong album with a strong confidence level with her opinion. It's full of her opinion. I love all three featuring songs, it's crazy, Dua Lipa, John Jett and Billy Idol, it's, they're amazing and I love how each song was fit very well to the that person's style of singing and songwriting. I'm very, very happy and surprised and I'm a bit shocked. For most of the part I'm shocked about the words, about the lyrics. Right now when I have listened to all of the album I'm very 
I'm very, I'm very in my head. Right now, currently, even when I'm speaking, I'm thinking about the life and about the lyrics that she has sang and about her struggles and about her honesty, which is the most important thing. I think she was born to do this album and she has finally found her style and her place to be. I, I, I could never put her, you know, into one box of genre. She's not that artist at all. Um, once and again, she has proven that she's the best and she's my favorite of all time. But the lyrics are sensational and the songs and melodies are sensational. I just love everything about that. And uh, the last three songs, which was Edge of Midnight, Heart of uh, Glass and Zombie, I have seen all of them. Um, they were crazy and amazing and I think it was a very good way to show what kind of album she's going to do. Like all the covers that she chose, they were very smart, they fit her voice amazing. And it just gave us a little bit of taste of what the album is going to be. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please give me the thumbs up and Subscribe to my channel and leave down comments of your three favorite songs if you have, if you can choose because I cannot. And see you again in my next video. Thank you guys.